My name is Reginald Conley, Vice President of Application Engineering here at PLX. And today I'm here to show you something that I think you're going to find very interesting. Typically, PCI Express requires a clock to be used, and, and most people who use Express are very familiar with carrying a clock to cover the link. Today we're going to show you an application in which completely separate clocks can be used, and yet you can have spread spectrum and continue to operate seamlessly. Let me move to the board and give you an example of what we're going to talk about. So as many of you probably know, PLX has spent a lot of time advancing taking Express outside the box. Um, what you see here is a classical example of having a server and then what we've built as an expansion box to show Express moving outside the typical usage. When, and when using these type of systems, typically what we have are constant frequency clocks because there's no clock being shared to go across the lane. So there's no SSC being used. Now there are situations where SSC is nice to have, such as when you want to reduce EMI, um, you have a system that may not be able to turn off the SSC clock. However, in these type of situations, having a system where there's no clock being shared becomes a problem. Well, what we're going to show you today is taking Express outside the box and yet carrying no clock, have spread spectrum clocking occur on each side independently, and then by which doing so, will allow you to actually use low-cost cabling solutions that don't require additional cables or connectors for clocking uh, mechanisms. So, in this example, similar to what you may have seen before, we have our root complex, our, or basically our CPU, standard CPU, and we have a display that hangs off of it. Here we're showing an Avago McLink module, a new module, uh, low-cost, that actually uh, allows you to use what looks to be a USB type of interconnect but it really is an optical fiber. So we will we'll take this McLink, we'll have a buy one Gen 3 fiber, we'll go across to what we have as a PLX box which we've shown several times. This is just a simple expansion chassis which carries a PLX switch, an input mechanism to bring the optics on board, and then we have expansion slots. On these slots we also have a video card that goes out to a display, um, and just any options of expansion that you could use. So what we'll do is we'll show you this demonstration running, and then we'll change the demonstration to change the clocking mechanism such that there's spread spectrum clocking here and spread spectrum clocking here. And we'll show you how you can run seamlessly separate spread spectrum clocks and yet still have a clean link. Basically, we're going to free SSC from this box. What we have here are two PLX demonstration eval boards that will run this demo. So in this chassis here, you'll see we have our PLX switch card with the McLink module, which will bring out the optics. This card fits in, into this box and will then take optics out of this side of it. Here, we simply have an expansion card, which we also built at PLX. And this expansion card simply sits into this chassis box and it just has a power supply and just normal things just to bring this box up and make it run. So with the demonstration running, I'll show you an example of what the system looks like. So as we mentioned before, here's the actual running server. If we bring up and look at our CPU, we can see these SSD drives, which are actually located in this alternate expansion box. Here's our PLX expansion chassis, and you'll see here that we have the Avago McLink, and interestingly enough, this is the optical fiber with what looks to be a USB, but in reality it's a very low cost fiber connection by one capable Gen 3 Express. Inside this chassis, as I mentioned, we have multiple drives. As you can see here, there's the Avago modules, the PLX chip, and the five expansion slots that we have for putting any type of device you'd like into this type of system. Now let's take a look at the screen and let's uh, show some of the connectivity. As we mentioned, we open up the computer and we can see the two SSD drives, which actually belong in the expansion chassis. We'll go over here and we'll open up the PEX editor and take a look at the eye that gets resulted of the common frequency clock example. As you can see, this is a pretty nice eye for this, um, this by one optical module. Next, what we'll do is we'll change the clocks and we'll move to SSC and we'll look at what happens to the system, whether it operates and what kind of performance that we get. Here we have a clock synthesizer chip in which we're now going to create a 100 megahertz spread spectrum clock and inject it into our actual expansion chassis. Over here we'll take a look at the scope and see what that looks like. 
So here's the clock that we have going into the system. And I'm going to show you a, a real easy way to try to determine whether or not you have sped spectrum enabled on a system. So when you have a clock, if you, if you take the delay and expand it, you can tell whether or not spread is occurring. And as you can see from the scope here, this system is definitely a spread spectrum clock system. What I'll next do quickly is I'll change these clocks and show you what the clock on the other side also looks like. Now I've switched the cables and what you can see is the clock from the other side, this, the CPU side of the system. Again, a very spread signal. So with SSC now running in the system, as you can see we have our port 1 active, our by 1 Gen 3 link, and here's the resultant eye that comes out of that link. As you can see, look how clean that eye looks like. It looks as if there's no spread there at all. The system looks very clean. It's very impressive. We've clearly freed SSC from this box. You know, there's been a lot of talk about Thunderbolt and that capability, but what we've shown with Express is, you know, we show the same type of functionality native without the need to go across different protocol handling, uh, any kind of translations. We can show that with Express, you have the same low-cost cabling options, not just for optics, but across copper and many different types of solutions where no clock is required. It's very impressive, very important technology. And one of the things we'd like to ask you to do, if this is something that's important to you, then call, reach out to PLX. Send an email to freessc.com at plx.com and tell us what you think.